Welcome, in front of me is a Lenovo Tab Xtreme and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of your brand new device. So to get started, let's see if this actually works, uh, I'm going to try to connect my pen first. So just slap it in here. It might not work till it's actually set up, which would be unfortunate. Let's see. Yep, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, so I'm not using pen. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna start off by selecting our desired language from the list right here. I'm gonna be sticking with English. Then we can select next or start in this case, and we'll be presented with the terms of use, which you can tap either on the user agreement and also privacy policy uh, to read exactly what you're agreeing to. But if you're like basically everyone else, you're just gonna check the box and select next. Next, we have the Wi-Fi connection page. So here you can connect to your network. I'm going to be setting it up offline if it actually allows me. And it does. And because I have no network connection, it won't set date and time automatically. And also I won't be seeing Google login page throughout the setup process. Now, if you've chosen to connect to your network, you won't see this page. Uh, and you will see the Google login page unlike me. Now, next we have Google services. Now we have three different ones like the location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. If you don't want them, you can turn them all off. And from there, we can go to the next page, which is some kind of privacy and the basic settings. Um, which is kind of funny that it's a toggle for privacy. Uh, usually expect it to be, you know, automatic, but whatever. So during the user experience programs, you can uncheck that if you want it check it on uh, auto update uh, if you don't want your device to be automatically updated uh, you can turn that off and uh, restart and upgrade overnight again uh, it kind of goes in hand with the auto update which if you don't want it you can turn it all all off next we have protection settings so we can set a screen lock either password fingerprint or face recognition now password uh, has three different options which is pin pattern or password so if you want one of those, you can set it up. Now, with that being said, if you want to use a fingerprint or face recognition, you will always be required to also select a uh, pin pattern or password. And the reason for that is, if something would happen to your face or your finger, you would uh, lose access to your device. Hence, that would leave the last option being pin pattern or password, which would not change based on if your biometrics aren't being read correctly. I'm gonna be skipping this anyway. And next we have system navigation. So we have two different ones now. Uh, we have the gesture navigation, which is the one that I will prefer and which is enabled by default. And you also have the virtual navigation. So it adds these buttons on the side so they would appear somewhere here. The three button navigation. So you can choose whichever one you want. I will be, like I said, sticking with gestures. And this looks to be basically completing the setup. There we go. So that's about it. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.